Hey, I'm Megan Lee, and welcome to the Noob Reviews. So today, I've made a decision. This is going to be a, my last, like, pre preview preview, if that makes sense, because I've decided there's so many comic books that I want to go through, right? So I'm going to, on Sundays, I will focus on, like, the Marvel, Flash, etc. And then on Wednesdays, I want to put more of a spotlight on independent comics. Uh, so, or Wednesday or Thursday. It's turning out to be Thursday. Thursday works better. Whatever. I'll figure it out, okay? So, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, I will focus more on independent comic. And then Sunday, I'll keep doing what I usually do. So that Wednesday, I might, like, I'll focus on an independent comic. And then if it seems to fit, I'll also give, a, like, a little preview of what's to come on Sunday. And that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Made that decision. Uh, so to this, this Sunday, this is what I've got going on. I read this. It was so cute. Super imp- I just dropped all the comic books. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's safe. Super impressed. So you know how I think a while back, I, one of my first or second um, reviews, I reviewed a Scooby-Doo and Batman comic book because I picked it off the kids comic book shelf. Um, and I wasn't super impressed with it. The story, t it just had, there was a lot of holes in the plot and the story and it just, I wasn't impressed. I was impressed with this. Like, there is a real story here and it's not like the plot is super complicated because it's a kid's comic, right? But I was impressed with the storytelling I was impressed with the characters. Like, there's just, there's a whole arc. Like, it just, good storytelling. And lots of dialogue. Like, they didn't dumb it down. Like, oh, this is for kids. We have to assume they're stupid. Kids know when you're talking to them like that. And I think, I feel like nowadays, kids aren't as aware of how much we have dumbed down um, their books and comic books and TV shows. But we have. Compared to what little I know, it's sad. So this was, I was just impressed with this. Mickey, Mouse, and Goofy, the Space Bandits. It was really fun. Cute, fun. Definitely recommend. It's an oldie, so good luck finding it. Of course, we are going to finish The Flash. And we get Kid Flash. Little Kid Flash. More adorableness. Uh, we will get into good old Wolverine. Ugh, every single cover. Oh my goodness. Every single one. I want posters of these. I so want posters of these. It's just popping right out at you. It's like 3D, you know? Yeah. It's totally like 3D. Love it. I haven't actually read it yet, so I'm really excited to get my hands on this one. <laughs> um, we got us Berserker, the third one. I can take this one out of the package. The cover on this one isn't as interesting. Um, I just kind of had to get what my comic book store had available. Because um, there are, for each issue, they did make alternate covers two or three alternate covers i don't even know if this is an alternate or a or it's their original intended cover yes okay see and this is another one i haven't read yet we are continuing from where we left off in that same time period so it's gonna be but ooh, and then we're ending with where we started oh my goodness we're coming full circle i like when you just put all the little pieces together and you tie everything with a nice little bow well 
I'm sure there's going to be a little mystery at the end because we have a bunch more issues to read. But I'm hoping that this one will be as good as issue two because I did enjoy it. It is pretty gory, but you know. So for my, my mature nature readers, we'll be looking at Berserker issue three. <laughs> this is what I will be reviewing on Wednesday. <sighs> Whoever suggested to me, you are a beautiful person. And I have more um, coming. And so for Independent Comics, War Party. Uh, oh, what's the Charlie Chaplin one? I can't remember. Which is the Charlie Chaplin one? Daniel will tell me in the comments. He always does. He keeps me in line. It's really good. Um, so War Party, Charlie Chap the Charlie Chaplin one. And uh, come on, Megan, get it together. Uh, oh yeah, Ripa, Eric July, I'm really looking forward to his comic, so I want to review that when it comes out. And then also, the Ginger Ninja and Roger Ryder are working on a comic book, I think a series, like a mini-series, and that's being released in August. So I am planning on reviewing that as well. I have lots of plans. So I have um, a good setup for Wednesdays in the comic reviews and then of course i have so much for sundays and yeah those are my plans making plans with people to do movie review channel on friday nights um that'll be a live stream and then of course eventually working out my saturday morning cartoon That'll probably be a live stream too. As well as, yeah, there's other things in the works. I have a lot ha coming coming up, going on. Hula! It's exciting. It's really, really fun. I'm really, really excited to see how everything unfolds and is unfolding. And as always, I am so super grateful to everybody who watches and shares and comments and gives me recommendations and keeps me in line and all that good stuff and i'm very excited to keep growing so thank you for being here with me see you all on sunday <laughs>